Latin square design. This is a type of block design and therefore the goal is to reduce the experimental error. Now what is Latin square? As it says it's a square design either 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, 6x6 or 2x2. It looks like, an, like a square and it's made of Latin letters basically. So this is a orthogonal combination of um, rows and columns where the Latin letter only appear once in each of these columns or each of these rows. Sometimes it's called row and column design. So in the randomized complete block design, we have block experimental error in one direction. In Latin square, you can block error in two direction, the row direction also in column directions. Um, so we'll, let's start with an example. However, um, there is limitations. As you can see here, you can only apply this design when you have all uh, the levels of all factors are same. So either four um, levels for each factor or three levels for each factor or five levels for each factor like that. So let's talk about an example. Think about a car uh, wheel positions. You have four um, wheel positions in a car. Uh, the front two positions and rear two positions and then so you want to test whether uh, tires were differently um, than in one position than the other. And then you can block two different types of factors with that. Let's say cars run in different kind of climate condition. So then you have to have four different types of climate condition. And then there are many different types of tire brands, let's say, you want to test four different tire brands. So you can test four different tire brands, four different climate conditions. You can block those and see um, which position wires the best. So here is an example. Let's, let me show you how to analyze the data. So I've copied the data in Minitab already. So you can go to STAT, DOE, uh, not DOE, ANOVA, Generalize Linear Model. Basically select all these factors. Um, the response is the tire wire and factors are the, um, so leave everything as it is. And then as you can see here, the weather and the model of the car was not significant, but the position is significant. To know the full description of this problem, you can go to the openeducator.com under randomized complete block design module four, pick this Latin square example. So I have the whole thing here. Um, so the main interest is the um, position of the tire, uh, which position is the best or worst in, in terms of tire wire. So the hypothesis is basically position one equal to position two equal to position three equal to four with respect to the tire wire. Now in the results we have found that the position is significant. So once you find it significant, the next question is okay then uh, which one wears the um, most or which position is the worst. Um, so then you run a post hoc analysis. Let me show you how to do that. Simply you can go to STAT, ANOVA, generalized linear model comparison. Just select only position because that's the only thing significant. Um, as you can see here that the front two were significantly more than the rear two. Um, so you can see here the result is here. Um, so in summary, Latin square is a blocking um, type of block design where you reduce the experimental error. As you can see here that the mean square error for weather was 0.56 and model was 1.22. So there was some reduction of error. If you include those, without those we wouldn't be able to, um, the experiment would be including in those error too. So um, this is basically primarily to reduce the experimental error, um, controlling all those factors that we cannot control, like those climate conditions, the different types of tire brand or car brand, things like that.